Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Late Night Football, our uh, second uh, episode for today, also our final one for today. But it finishes 5 0 to Manchester City over Burnley, as uh, most had predicted, and I had predicted as well. A pretty comfortable routine uh, win for Manchester City, sprinkled the dash of uh, dominance in that display as well. And the hat trick for Real Madrid is very well done, well deserved trick and um, there's not a lot to talk about to be honest when you have these kind of results uh, inevitably there's not a lot of talking points but uh, I think it was a much needed win for Manchester City they had been creating a lot of chances they weren't putting them away so today's game will give them a lot of confidence just from that perspective so excuse me just from that perspective of creating chances and then being able to take them uh, I think will be will be definitely very very pleasing for uh, Pep Guardiola and uh, Burnley I think were pretty accommodating opponents um, you know, they, they, the way that they set up was asking for trouble, you know, putting a, uh, parking the bus, but not really pressing high up the field, letting the city come on to them, letting them have the possession uh, in and around the area, and then just like allowing them to make those uh, runs and make those passes. I mean, it was, it was, pretty, it was pretty horrendous. And it, it almost felt like Burnley had kind of given up even before the game had started. Or as soon as the game started, uh, there was not a lot. It was almost like, you know, fair enough, we'll just take this, we'll take this uh, loss, you know, as it comes, and we'll try to keep the score down as much as possible. It, it was really pretty poor from Burnley all around. And uh, you have to say that uh, they are in deep, deep relegation trouble at this point. I think they are definitely, uh, uh, they don't want to be there, but uh, at the moment they are, they are getting sucked into that. They're getting dragged into that relegation fight. There's still teams below them, though, that are in more trouble, like so Sheffield, West Brom, Fulham, maybe Newcastle there as well. So this, this it's not like they're going to get, I'm not saying they're going to get relegated, but it's a relegation fight that they probably would have wanted to avoid that they're now getting dragged into. So that's, um, on that note, uh, Daesh has got to take some blame for this performance as well. Um, and it was, it was pretty poor overall tactically, but nothing away, taking nothing away from Manchester City. They were excellent. They did the, what they had to do. They went out there, they played their game. They were, they were, they were very, very you know, crisp, sharp, I think they were a little bit more sharper in this game than Liverpool were in their game. And I think, again, that match sharpness and the sharpness and that intensity makes such a big difference. Uh, you know, we always, we always seem to talk about technical ability. We don't talk about sharpness as much, but that, the, the way that these teams play, that needing that little bit of intensity, the sharpness makes a big difference. And I think it made a difference in this game as well. And, um, and what is to say, Benjamin Mendy scoring a goal. How about that? For, for something, right? I mean, Benjamin Mendy uh, is going a very, you know, it's not, he's just, he doesn't play often. He doesn't score often. But uh, to get both uh, done today, I think would definitely be pleasing as well to uh, Pep Guardiola. I think the major talking point would probably be, be Phil Foden not starting this game. He scored against Olympiacos. He's been playing pretty well. And for some reason, he can't get into the starting lineup. And uh, there definitely was some chatter about that. And uh, I mean, at the end of the day, if you get the win, if you get the result that you want, you can't really complain too much more than that, can you? You can't really go out there and say, you know, well, why you didn't play a player, but you know, you won 5 0. So maybe he was rested. I mean, he's probably going to start the Champions League game coming up against, uh, uh, I believe it's uh, Porto. Yeah, it's Porto. So he's going to start against Porto. And that's a, that's a big game now for them because, uh, I mean, they're all big games. I think this will probably, the Porto game will probably be the tougher game, the bigger game, uh, considering that there's top spot uh, on the line. Uh, they just need to draw the, I mean, it's probably it's mere formality in some cases, but I mean, this game was a formality as well in some cases. So uh, that, that will be a big game. But coming back to this uh, performance, I, it just felt like a training ground game, didn't it, at some point? We're just like, okay, go out there, I mean, was, yeah, have fun. You know, just like, it's, it's one of those games where you, you walk in thinking this is going to be a cakewalk, but we need to be careful. And once you get on the pitch, everything comes so easily, comes so naturally. And then you get that first goal and then you get that second goal and the opposition basically says, you know what, uh, you know, let's just, let's not, uh, let's not try to be too ambitious. Let's try and, you know, hold back the, like, let's keep it down to as much as we can. And, you know, City were just knocking the ball around, playing pretty well around. It just, yeah, it, it was, it was not really much of a contest. It was a bit of a, I mean, I guess, I guess once we have that high of that Liverpool Brighton game, you know, going all emotions are high. Everybody's like, in a, in a, you know, like a dip, you know, people are agitated, people like, you know, some people are being really happy, some people are really agitated. So this is kind of like the cool down game, you know. It's like, okay, you know, fair enough. Now let's bring them down. Let's let's let them, you know, have a take a breath, and then we go again. I think there's kind of that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think watching Brighton play would probably have made people expect more. From Burnley and uh, Manchester City were there for the taking. Uh, concerning their form, they were there for the taking. There's there's definitely opportunity, but 
Bayern Burnley just didn't seem into it. And I don't know what they can change now going forward, but uh, they need to do some things. They need to change something. Um, I think De Bruyne looked good as well. Uh, he was making a few good passes, a few good runs. Uh, he looks like, I think he needed this game. I think he would have liked a goal though. I think that's one thing. He would have liked a goal, but he didn't get it. But he looked very, very good otherwise. And maybe this will game will again give him confidence going forward to be more proactive, to be the De Bruyne that we all know and love uh, and believe that he can be again. So, yeah, I, I think this game, I think in some ways, yeah, I think this, this was a good time to play Burnley. <laughs> they needed this game. I think City needed this game. And I'm sure they'll be looking back and thinking, you know what? I, I think this was the right time to play to play Burnley. And now they can build a bit of momentum. They've got that Manchester United game coming up in a couple of weeks. And this these games, I think that they've got a pretty easy run of fixtures up until then. I'm just going to quickly pull that up because I want to take a quick look at uh, what games are coming up for them. Um, because uh, actually, you know what? We'll do it this way. Yeah. Uh, so they've got, I mean, it's, it's fairly, as I said, they've got Porto next. That should not, I mean, it's Porto away. So it might be some problems, but I mean, it's not the Porto, Porto powerhouse, Portuguese powerhouse Porto, is it? It's a, yeah, it should be fairly easy to get at least a draw out of that. Then they were Fulham, which is a gimme, another gimme. And then they've got Marseille, which should not be a gimme, but actually is considering the form of, of, of Marseille. And then you've got that Manchester United game. So they've got enough time. They've got the, they're going to have a lot. They, they'll have a lot of opportunities to rotate. I don't think Guardiola can talk about fatigue between now and that Man United game. I don't think he can have any excuses. They've got to, they've got to pick up. Uh, you would say, they, they, yeah, they should get, go on to win those, those next three games and really build that momentum. Uh, and it will be interesting to see what shape Manchester United come in because they've got PA, they've got Southampton tomorrow. Then they've got PSG. Uh, then they've got uh, West Ham and then they've got uh, Leipzig. None of those are easy games at all uh, for, for United. Uh, so, I mean, that's, it's, it's, I mean, not that United is a difficult game for City. I, I mean, I probably, I, I'd back City to win that one as well, but uh, it will be, there will be some intensity, I guess, with that being that it is a derby. But uh, yeah, I mean, good times for City. I think it's a good chance for them to start moving up the table. They're now, uh, I mean, it, at this point, it still feels a little bit academic, but at least they've now clawed two points on Liverpool. So that that is is a good thing. I mean, if you look at the table right now, uh, Manchester City now have moved up to eighth. They have uh, about 15 points. Level on points with Aston Villa, though Villa do have a game in hand. Uh, and uh, Sp- uh, Liverpool are now six points clear, but they, they have played a game more. So it comes back into City's hands. If they win their game in hand, then they'll only be three points away. So, and it's not that. I think it's against Burnley as well, that game. Is against Burnley, so I don't know how that's how the fixture list has come out, but it looks like that, that game in hand is against Burnley actually. So uh, I have no idea what's happening, but uh, yeah. So I mean, it, it will be interesting. It will be interesting to watch uh, this these uh, these games uh, that are coming up as well. And uh, it looks like the title race might open up a little bit again, which will be good as well for uh, for for the rest of the league. So uh, that that is there. I think um, the one thing from Burnley's point of view, another point I want to make is that they missed Nick Pope today. Uh, I, it was an injury. They, they need him back because Bailey Peacock Ferrell looked absolutely all at sea. And I know it was Manchester City, but he looked absolutely shaky. That third goal, which was just allowed for offside, uh, no, I think it was the fourth goal. I don't know. I think it's third goal. There's a goal that was just allowed for offside. Should have. I mean, if it wasn't an offside flag, I mean, that's an easy take, and he still let it go inside. It was pretty. It was pretty abysmal. The own goal, which again was disallowed, uh, you know, again uh, for offside, it shouldn't be going in. So, I mean, he had a pretty bad game overall. I think he had a very, very bad game, and uh, he'll be hoping to forget this one as soon as possible. I don't know how many more chances he will get, but you know, but I think on the basis of this, I think Nick Pope really uh, needs to come back into the side. They need uh, Burnley need him back in the side for sure. Anyway, that uh, concludes. It's a very short uh, re- reaction show. I mean, there's not a lot to talk about. Uh, you know, there's it's a fairly comfortable win in the end. Uh, well taken goals. I don't think you can really say much about the goals. I think uh, it was well taken. But at, the, at some point, you got to ask: Were Burnley really that? Were City really that good? Or were Burnley that bad? And I mean, that you know, that depends on perspective based on what you wanna see. So, I mean, man of the match, I think it has to be Riyad Mahrez. I don't think you can pick anybody else. Yeah, I think Riyad Mahrez is of the man of the match as well. So smash a like if you enjoyed that result. 5-0, Manchester City over Burnley. Uh, City moving up to eighth spot now in the uh, Premier League, although they have uh, played a game more than some of their uh, and some of the other rivals. So, I mean, still early days uh, in, the, in the title race. But, uh, sorry, in the weekend, I should say. Yeah, but a uh, good win for Manchester City. Much needed win and a much needed uh, goal route uh, in some cases for them as well because they've been creating a lot of chances and not scoring them. 
But uh, smash a like, share your comments as well. What do you thought of the game? Who you thought was your man of the match? Who do you want? Who do you, why you think Phil Foden did not start? And it, should he have started or should he not have started? And also remember to subscribe to the channel if you are new. We want to keep producing content uh, like this for you guys. And uh, you know, if you subscribe, that really supports us and that really uh, it helps us and encourages us to keep producing this content for you. So we want to keep doing that. So please remember to smart, to subscribe to the channel if you're new. But let's see how let's see if we can get to 120 subscribers by the end of the weekend. Uh, but enjoy the rest of your Saturday. This is our last show for today. Uh, we're not going to be doing any more today, but we'll be back tomorrow uh, for match reactions for the Manchester United game. We'll be back for that one. Uh, and uh, we'll have uh, Kanaya joining us for that one. He'll be here. So we'll have a guest as well. So finally a bit of a break from having to hear just me for so long. We'll have, we'll have, we'll have another guest on the show tomorrow. So please do join us for that one. Southampton, Manchester United. We'll be back after the game for that. Uh, but enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Uh, enjoy the games. Uh, if you're going to be watching any other games today, all the best to you and all the best to your teams. And we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Uh, have a good day or night, whatever time you're watching this. And uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.